this is a quick video about dementia, which um, <clears throat> the main type is usually Alzheimer's disease, which is usually a disease of old age and is characterized by the loss of or the shrinkage of the cerebral cortex, which is the highest um, functional area of the brain, and the, the progressive loss of these cells result in reduced um, cognitive functions and the the a shrinkage of the hippocampus as well, the amygdala, um, the enlargement of the ventricles. So it's basically losing more of the brain cells. It's and the symptoms include memory loss, agitation, aggression, lack of concentration, mood disturbance, where the person even loses um, can't remember the loved ones' names, the day, the date of the week, uh, who they are. And in the end, it basically results in deterioration of um, autonomic functions as well. Drugs which are used in dementia basically um, enhance cognitive function for a little bit, but basically um, over time they become um, less efficient um, as the disease progresses. And this, the drugs used for this condition include um, acetylcholinesterases or Rigadome. Rigadome, is, which basically stands for Rifastigmine, Galantamine, Donabazel, and Memantine. So the first three, uh, Ristagmine, Galantamine, and Donabazel, uh, are acetylcholinesterase inhibitors or cholinergics because they increase the concentration of acetylcholine. Um, and Memantine is NMDA receptor antagonist, which reduce glutamate ex uh, excess, which result. Um, after the death of um, acetylcholine producing cells in the front of in the the, cere uh, the cerebrex, um, acetylcholine stress. So remember, increase the concentration of acetylcholine. So if you remember, acetylcholine is basically released uh, by neurotrans by neurons to activate muscles. So you constrict the bronchioles, the gastrointestinal smooth muscle. Uh, it's also uh, released by the vagal nerve to decrease the the heartbeat. The vagal nerve releases acetylcholine on the sinoatrial node, decreasing the heart rate. So it's got wide spread um, spread effect on the body. So if you increase the acetylcholine, you increase the acid in the stomach. Resulting in gastric ulcer, you cause bradycardia with slow heart rate. So if you have cardiovascular disease like heart failure, it's very dangerous. Um, it's you also got increased muscle tone. So remember, anti-mastrinic is cause constipation. So if you use um, anticholinesterases which increase acetylcholine, you could extract the bronchioles. So it, this worsens this asthma and COPD. Bladder incontinence. Remember, anti-mastrinics are used. Um, in benign prostatic um, 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 hyperplasia, that's a side effect. So that's used to decrease the muscle tone. So this increases the muscle tone, so basically makes it worse. It's also used in GI um, obstruction. Um, it worsens GI obstruction because um, this increased muscle tone. So you increase the muscle tone, you constrict, you constrict the smooth muscle. It may increase seizures. You also, um, you need to be also aware of galantamine skin hypersensitivity as it might cause um, um, skin rashes. Um, and also, they also contraindicate in pregnancy and breastfeeding. And there's no use for anticholinesterases in people under 18 years old because this is a, usually at risk of old age, so no use. In children, side effects basically uh, predictable. So GI, you got nausea, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, dyspepsia, salivation, abdominal pain. So it's everything again is anti-mastrinics. So if you remember, anti-mastrinics uh, cause um, dry mouth. This causes salivation. So anti-mastrinics cause um, constipation. This causes diarrhea. So they also cause drowsiness, um, headache, insomnia, confusion, dizziness. Also, bradycardia, which, as we explained, the vagal nerve releasing um, 
when you increase the concentration of acetylcholine, that results in uh, bradycardia. There's also um, to produce the side effect of um, acetylcholinesterases, you could use rifastigmine transdermal patch, which may reduce side effects. Um, so if you have a lot of side effects with the oral medicine, you need to withdraw the drug and then introduce the patch. So also be aware that this might cause neuroleptic malignant syndrome, which is a rare side effect of acetylcholinesterases, which is characterized by high temperature, uh, increased muscle tone, uh, rigidity, autonomic instability, and um, even coma. And also, if you use with antipsychotics, this side effect of um, NMS or neuroleptic malignant syndrome could be increased because antipsychotics uh, cause NMS. Um, haloperidol and lorazepam are used um, for psychosis and anxiety in uh, dementia as well. Also, you need to be aware that severe renal um, disease and hepatic disease. Uh, require dose reduction or or in case you can't even use them if the renal you know clearance is less than nine milliliter uh, per minute so that um, requires uh, withdrawal of the drug and also you need to be aware of the risk of overdosing um, for people who use transdermal rifastigmine pack because of um, forgetting that they've already applied they've already put on the, the patch and then if they use another one there's a risk of overdosage and fatal um, outcome as um, there are some papers who discuss the risk of overdosage um, of rifastigmine patches so you could go and google it scholar if you want um, more um, reading and they basically advise that the patient should be educated to use only one patch at the at any uh, one time and not used to so these are basically um, some tutorials which teach patients on how to apply the patch and where to apply to and to remove the patch um, after uh, after 24 hours and then there is the ebixa which maintain um, overall solution so it's really important patient, patients know how to dose on a spoon or cup and not to pump into their mouths.